Ông hết Well, just just one thing. I mentioned before about we we do the techniques and then we say, okay, we're going to go to a competition. Let's check what the rules are and let's go. Sometimes people don't even check what the rules are. Okay, they just go along, they enter, they have fun. They might do really, really well. They may win, they may lose. Okay, you still may do well regardless of whether you win or lose. Okay, but sometimes you see someone else. Okay, sorry. Uh, I thought we lost someone if you did. But sometimes when you don't win, you get frustrated and you say, well, I don't understand why I didn't win. Okay. Sometimes people say worse. Okay. Sometimes the reason you don't understand why you didn't win is because you're not very clear on what the rules are. Or some people are clear on the rules in terms of what they can and can't do. Like, you know, no holding, no pushing, no, no, you know, all that sort of stuff. But they're not as clear on what constitutes a point, okay? And if you know what constitutes a point, then when you're sparring, I mean, you're not expected to keep count, that's what the judges are for, okay? But you have a better idea of when you're scoring possibly and when you may not be. You also have a better idea of when your opponent is likely to have scored a point on you, okay? So, so very, very important. You need to understand what constitutes a point. And then that comes back to form part of your strategy as well, knowing what the likely outcome or what the desired outcome is for what I'm going to do. So for example, I don't, you see some people sparring, especially beginners, and they go kick, 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 kick. It's a very common thing. It's like can-can dancing, and they do that. Well, for starters, 50% of their kicks have no chance of scoring because 50% of their kicks are going behind the person. And behind the person, there's no scoring target, okay? So 50% of their kicks are wasted. 50% of their energy is wasted, okay? And every time your leg is up in the air, you're vulnerable to be counterattacked back because sometimes the best time to attack is while the other person is attacking. All right, but again, we get into the ring because we've trained and we think, well, if I just keep kicking, the other person has no chance. But sometimes if you just keep kicking, you're giving the other person a bigger chance, okay? It's not about how many kicks. It's about how many scoring kicks. Very, very important, okay? Just because you threw the most kicks doesn't mean you scored the most points, all right? So this is what you need to understand. Because sometimes you feel like you're dominating because I was just going, 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 but I didn't score anything because nothing I did hit the target properly, clean, directly, okay? So first thing we need to understand, I mentioned before, only the front half of the body scores. Now, I know a couple of weeks ago we did the umpiring class, and I don't want to turn this into another umpiring class, but one of the reasons why we encourage uh, prospective competitors or, or you know, those who compete often to also learn the rules intimately is because it forms part of your strategy, okay? So if I know that I can only score from the front half of the body, I don't waste anything in the back, okay? It's not just about whether I kick him in the back and get a warning or, you know, whatever, lose points. It's also by the fact that I can't score. And if I can't score, why am I doing it? Occasionally, we might set up a technique with another, but that's, you know, that, that even then, that should be towards the scoring area a lot of the time, okay? So... First of all, understand, only the front half of the body. And I'll say this because a lot of you haven't, haven't been in ITF twenty. Second thing to understand, only from the waist up. So nothing below the waist scores. It doesn't mean you can do it and you just won't score a point because if you do it, you're going to get a warning. If you do it really, really hard, you're going to get a fail. You're going to become very unpopular. And there's a chance you might get one back twice as hard, okay? So it has to be above the waist and it has to be front half of the body, okay? So having said that then, if we divide the body into three sections, from the waist down, we say low section, okay? Nothing in the low section scores, nothing, okay? 
from the waist to the shoulders, we say middle section. Okay, we're not talking about middle of height, like when you do fundamentals or patterns. Now we're talking sections. Anything between the shoulder and the hips or the shoulder and the waist, right? That's the middle section. Then anything above the shoulder, obviously to the top of his head, is high section. Okay, anything over the top of his head looks fantastic, super difficult to do, doesn't score any points. You don't score points for missing. Okay, no matter how spectacular it is. All right, let's assume that there has to be some contact to score a point, okay? So anything that misses doesn't score. Anything that's blocked doesn't score, okay? So you've got front half of the body, middle section, front half of the body, high section. But understand it also includes the side, okay? The sides are also scoring areas, but the back is not. And that includes kicking. So a reverse training kick, which hits the back of the head, doesn't score a point. Okay, that's still an attack to the back. Right? Now, I know some people think, oh, fantastic, and they all jump up on the screen because it can be a really fantastic kick, but it has to hit the scoring target to score a point. Okay, like I said, same as football. You can kick the ball from a long way out and it's fantastic and it goes 70 meters. Okay, but if it doesn't go through the goals, it's not a goal. It doesn't matter how great the kick is. Okay, and this is the same with sparring. If I want to score a point, I have to hit the scoring target with a scoring weapon. My only scoring weapons are my hands and my feet. I can't score with anything else. Okay. And my only scoring targets are from half of the body, from the waist up. Okay. So that's important. And the reason I'm saying that with this drill, because this is our most basic fundamental drill that we'll do, is because some people were kicking at about this height. Some people were kicking at about this height. It's a significant difference in height, okay? But they score the same amount of points. So if I'm going to kick this much higher to score the same amount of points, I may as well kick this much higher to score double the amount of points, okay? So don't waste your middle kicks up around the chest. If you're gonna kick up around the chest, kick towards the face because the high kick scores two, the middle kick scores one. Aim your middle kicks just above the belt, okay? Because if you aim them just above the belt, A, they're easier to do. B, as I lift my leg, I lose range. So I get maximum range at my belt height. And I also, for a lot of people, okay, as you kick higher, your body leans back, which means your balance can be affected. All right, which makes it harder to come back and do the next technique. If I can stay more upright, so if I do that first kick, I'm able to follow the second one. If I have to lean back to get it to here, I'm still only scoring one point, but now I'm almost sacrificing the next technique. And if he was to counterattack, it's harder for me to move quickly. Does that make sense? So aim your middle techniques around here not up here. A little bit different with punching. Okay, with punching, I don't come down here because what the height of my shoulder is here. So if I'm going to punch middle here, I punch around the height of my shoulder. But again, understand that only slightly higher is a different section. But with the, with the punching, it's the same, same number of points. It's one point to the body, it's one point to the face because it's practically the same technique. The only time I get an extra point is if I'm airborne when I execute, okay? Then I'll get two points only in the high section. All right, so that, that kick we just did, aim it about here. I know a lot of you look really good doing it up here, which is fine if you're gonna hit the face, but if you're hitting the chest, you're getting the same amount of points as if you're hitting down lower. Okay, you understand that? So, so maintain balance. Get maximum range. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, if you guys can grab a bag, if you haven't got a bag, use another person. If you haven't got another person, use the air. Okay,